Cool. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, this should be quite a fun interactive session, um, so I hope you've picked wisely. Um, so just briefly, I'm Emma. I'm a Python developer at Cambridge Medical Robotics. Uh, we're a startup working on um, next generation uh, robotics for keyhole surgery. Um, it's pretty cool, and we are hiring, so um, if you're interested, I'll, I'll put a link up at the end, and you can come talk to me. Um, so on to the session then. Uh, what on earth is a Python B? Um, so this was created in 2008. A group of MIT students uh, entered it into a competition for bad ideas, uh, which it won and has suitably been run ever since. Uh, it is utterly ridiculous. It's great fun. Um, so uh, if you've heard of a spelling bee, uh, where you have to spell words out loud, um, so this is like that for programs. Um, so um, you have to spell like a single character at a time, your solution out loud. Um, yep. Even the white space, even the punctuation, absolutely everything. Um, you're not allowed to look at the code whilst you're doing this. Um, so someone else will be typing it in for you. Um, so the white space one, you're probably immediately wondering uh, tabs or spaces. Um, we may get to several levels of indentation. I don't want anyone to have to sit there and remember if they said 12 or 11 spaces. Um, so flame walls aside, tabs, um, <laughs> just make our life easier. Um, so we'll set our editors such a tab is for spaces and just avoid that, uh, that conundrum. Uh, so how does this ridiculous thing work? Um, we are going to give you an example. Um, so I've set up a, a load of files. Uh, each of these has the module doc string contains what the problem is that you're supposed to do. Uh, then there are some tests. And the idea is you write some code and the tests pass. So in this case, somebody would read out uh, the question to you. So they would say, write a function f, which takes arbitrary input, yet always returns hello world. So obviously they'd need to say out loud the capitalization of that, because you can't see it. Um, and then you would go about writing your solution. Um, so uh, we have this thing here. So whoever's typing in for you will delete this, and then you will you'll say your solution. So I'm not allowed to look at that. Okay. So def, oops, no, d, e, f space, F, open parentheses, star, A, comma, space, star, star, K, close parentheses, colon, new line, tab, R, E, T, U, R, N, space, single quote, H, oops, no, backspace, capital H, E, L, L, O, space, capital W, O, R, L, D, quote, run test. Okay. And then someone will have typed that into for you. Um, so you'll notice that most editors are going to put extra stuff in for you here. So you need to be really careful. If you can use a plain text editor, just like Notepad or something, that would be great. Uh, if not, make sure if you're typing stuff in, you're deleting any extra characters. Um, so again, you'll probably have auto indentation. So either set your editor so that isn't happening, or just delete it for them. Um, and as I said, either set it so that tabs are four spaces, or just type space four times if you really can't bring yourself to use tabs. Um, so, right, so we now run these tests. Um, that was correct, so it'll return silently if everything worked. If, say, you'd, I don't know, got enthusiastic and put an explanation mark in there, um, you'll have some test failures. All right, so that's going to be the idea. Um, how are we going to set this up? Uh, so actually some hints. Um, so as I said, you can say backspace if you make a mistake. Um, if you're getting to lots of sort of nesting and you want to track where that's going, um, I advise, like, your fingers are a useful stack. You can pop back out as you, as you want to track indentation. Um, parentheses, square brackets, be really clear about what you mean. So it's open and close parentheses, open and close square or curly brackets, uh, be very clear. Similarly, if you want an uppercase character, you need to say capital, whatever, otherwise they'll assume lowercase. Um, I wouldn't get carried away and worry about elegant solutions and performance here. Just make the code work. Um, yeah. So scoring. Um, so we're going to have a set of these test files. Um, if it returns silently, um, it was successful. You get some points. Uh, you don't get another go if it fails. Um, the questions are divided up into easy, medium, and hard, where hard is bearing in mind you're not allowed to look at the code, and this is entirely ridiculous rather than hard in any other context. Um, so you get a different number of points, uh, one, two, and three, respectively. Uh, just keep a mental note of your score. Uh, we'll try and declare an overall winner at the end. Um, and no peeking at the questions slash doing one that you've just seen someone else do. Uh, that takes the fun out of it. Uh, just be honest, I'll do that. Uh, Set up. So we're going to try and group, group to about three. Uh, you only need one laptop between you. Um, so if you have any setup issues, just put your laptop away and use someone else's that works. 
Uh, the idea is any one time, one person will be having a go and two people will be typing. Um, it'd be really annoying if someone just put a typo in and that caused you to not get the right answer, so that's why two people are watching over. Um, and then about 10 minutes each and then we'll swap over. Uh, the questions are up on GitHub at that link there. Um, as I said, try and use a plain text editor or um, set things up so that tabs are four spaces, auto indentations off, that sort of thing. Um, agree on your version of Python. Um, I've tested these questions with both 2.7 and 3.6. Over those should be fine. Obviously, you need to know which one it's set to use. And standard Python library only. Um, and yeah, have a go. Um, get into groups. If anyone's got any questions, just put your hand up and I'll, I'll come around. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, uh, one final comment. You might find the easy questions potentially quite boring. They're there in case there are any um, people who are really quite new to Python. Um, so probably medium or above if you've been using it a while. <laughs> yep. What was that, sir? <laughs> it's got a title and everything. <laughs>
Richard. <laughs> Nate had the practice one. <laughs> you could just pick him. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a pretty hard question, even if you are typing. I think, yeah. Okay. And this is a helper function. For and this is a helper function then. Okay, can I have a look at the doc test then? <laughs> Since now I'm the one going to do it. Yeah, so you can check that you're doing that. Okay. Okay. That that last case did not look. Yeah, I, I considered a lookup table, but that last case is fairly big. Uh, oh, I. I, I have a great idea that I'm going to save for a really hard one now. Uh, so, uh, time to swap over if you haven't done so yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, D E F space F open paren I close paren colon new line tab I F space I equals equals zero colon, R-E-T-U-R-N-E, -E, space, one, new line, tab, R-E-T-U-R-N, space, F, open paren, N, minus, one, close paren, asterisk, I need to go back and change the ends to eyes. Left arrow, left arrow, left arrow. Actually, control A, delete. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the function. Just for the navigating around is not going to work. <laughs> well, and I'm going to say exactly the same thing, but with I instead of N. <laughs> So if you just want to fix those up and go back to the asterisk, then that's fine by me. 
Okay, back to the start. <laughs> this is recorded now. <clears throat> okay, D E F space F open paren I close paren colon new line tab R E T U R N space one I F space I equals equals zero E L S E space I asterisk F open paren I minus one close paren. Happy, all good. So Python 3.5, right? Yes. <laughs> so as of Python 2.7, and you are you are actually getting the syntax error for that? You shouldn't be. There's no there's no syntax error in there. That's fine. They're unambiguous. You don't need spaces between unambiguous tokens. <laughs> I, I actually voted to not fix that bug, but in Python 3.4.2, I think, or 3.4.3, three, um, someone, someone complained that um, zero else should have, like, was being parsed incorrectly, because it was being parsed as zero E. Oh, L is not a valid exponent syntax error. And they were saying that zero else are two unambiguous tokens, and you shouldn't have to put a space between them. So we fixed the parser to go back uh, if we found digit E non-digit, we'd go back and say it's a number followed by E rest of whatever that token is. So yeah, this, this is what happens when I get easy questions. <laughs> now, now I get a medium one, do I? <laughs> Just jump straight into the advanced ones. I, I have my trick. I have another trick. I just want to show off my trick. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll give an advanced one a go. <clears throat> my, my trick was going to be import sys, sys.exit zero. But doc test might be smarter than that. Ooh. Write a function f, which given a positive integer returns the value as a Roman numeral, where in Roman numerals i equals 1, v equals 5, x equals 10, l equals 50, c equals 100, d equals 500. Those are all lower case. The value you return should use as few characters as possible, e.g. 4 should be iv rather than iiii. You can assume that the number you have to convert is less than 1,000. And actually, the, the tests allow you to put output the number in either lowercase or uppercase, but it has to be consistent. You can, you can have. Oh. It's just gone into standby. So press the button there. Um, okay, now hold the microphone while I type my password in. Okay, and three of something. 
It was a function f, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, D F space C open paren I close paren colon new line tab W H I L E space I greater than equal to five zero zero colon enter tab tab I minus equals five hundred enter tab tab Y I E L D space yield Y Hang on, Y E I L D is what I said. Might not be what I said. Shift home delete. <laughs> I hope that works on your keyboard. <laughs> Cut line. Tab tab. Y E I L D space. Single quote. D. Close single quote. New line. Tab. I F space I greater than equal to three zero zero colon, new line, tab, tab, I, F, space, I, greater than, equal to, four, zero, zero, colon, new line, four, zero, zero, colon, new line, tab, 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 Y E I L D space single quote C single quote enter tab 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 Plus equals one zero zero new line tab tab Y E I L D space single quote C D single quote new line tab tab I minus equals four zero zero new line tab W H I L E space I greater than one zero zero backspace 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 equals one zero zero 
colon, new line, tab, tab, I minus equals five, zero, new line, tab, tab, Y E I L D space, single quote, C, single quote. screwed up here, but whatever. New line. <laughs> uh, tab. I, F, space. I, greater than, equal to, eight, zero, colon, new line. Tab, tab. I F space I greater than equal to nine zero colon new line tab 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 Y E I L D space single quote X single quote no, I'm totally off now. New line just Forge ahead, forge ahead. I shouldn't be into the tens yet. Tab, tab, tab. I plus equals 10. New line. Tab, tab. Y E I L D space single quote. Hope there's no test for this. Um, <clears throat> X C single quote, new line, tab tab. I minus equals nine zero. Okay, uh, it's time to swap over again. If you just finish the question you're currently doing. New line. This must look so good. We should be getting what you're typing on the screen for people who are watching, because this is going to be a really boring video otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, I think I'm so far wrong with this that I'm not going to get any good score anyway. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's bail out and just go for successful, successful tests. Uh, tab. W H I L E space I greater than zero colon space new line tab tab Y E I L D space single quote I single quote new line tab tab I minus equals one new line new line D E F space F, open paren, I, close paren, colon, new line, tab, R-E-T-U-R-N-E, -E, space, single quote, single quote, full stop, J-O-I-N, open paren, C, open paren, I, close paren, close paren. I gave up. Some of those numbers are going to have a lot of eyes in them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? Uh, is it why it's, it is Y I E L D? <sighs> Damn American spellings. What? Did I have an E on the end of... I did not. <laughs> I, I did not. <laughs> we have it video sounded, proof. It sounded... Well, I'm, yeah. R-E-T-U-R-N. There's, there's no way I would have put an E on the end of that. 
Amazing. Space. Yeah. I always do that with Yoda as well. You did get the first test. Yay! The, the first test was one, wasn't it? <laughs> it, it went, it went, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, my, my second plan then is import OS, os.x at zero. <laughs> But I suspect that doc test is going to catch system exit and report that as a failure. There you go. <laughs> All right, must be your turn, Thomas. Let's let's yeah, let's get it up on the screen so we can actually record the typing. through all the other ones while you were sitting there, right? What's your PhD in again? But I'm willing to try medium. All right. Um, oh, okay. So check out the doc test. What, what medium would you like? Balancing some parentheses? Checking if parentheses are balanced? Or? Parentheses. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, it needs to be early in the session. Not after the session. <laughs> yeah. All right. You wanna? <laughs> wanna give it a go? We've got to take that away from you when you start. Okay. Okay. I don't think you do. Do you want to? Someone likes to type, and, and I'll, I'll check everyone else's. Sure. I think we do it. <laughs> Automatas only count. You're on camera for this one. You've got to look good. I mean, yeah, you can see what I'm typing. Just let me know if I type something wrong. I might type something wrong because I'm not used to this keyboard layout. But I'm basically hunting and pecking as well, so I'm basically hunting and pecking here as well, so it's not going to matter. Has anyone gotten a score above zero yet? Mm -hmm. Everyone has zero. Oh dear. <laughs> We're just doing one on the video, so don't mind us speaking into the room. You ready? Thomas is ready. Go. D E F space F open parentheses S close parentheses colon. <laughs> okay. New line tab. P equals zero, new line tab. For C in, oh, right, sorry, I have to spell these out. F O R space C space I N space S colon. Just five minutes, and we're going to do the second half uh, of a different exercise. <laughs> New line, tab, tab. I, F, space, C, equals, equals, single quote, open paren, single quote, colon. New line, 
tab, tab, tab. P plus equals one. New line, tab, tab. E L I F space. C equals equals single quote. Close paren, single quote. Colon, new line, tab, tab, tab. I, F, space, P equals equals zero, colon, new line, tab, 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 tab. R E T U R N space capital F A L S E New Line Tab 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 P minus equals one New Line Tab R E T U R N space P equals equals zero. Save and run tests. I don't even know what you're working in here. Congratulations. Okay, um, well done. Um, I think that's a good place to stop, so I'm going to go on to the second half. Um, if we can all just stop there where we are, I'll knock out once. So, uh, because that wasn't absurd enough, now we have something completely different. Um, Co-op mode. So, uh, you're now going to write code as a group, so you get to write a single character, and then the next person gets a character. Um, you do get to look at the code now, which is more helpful. You're not allowed to talk to each other, you're not allowed to do any hand signals, no communicating, no complex sequence of winks or anything like that. Absolutely no talking. Um, I suggest you just pass the laptop round and enter one character at a time. Um, I have tried this before uh, with a group of people in the pub. Um, half of the people there had never done any Python, one person had never programmed at all. Um, it went badly wrong, would be suffice to say. Uh, it turned into a ridiculous stack overflow question to see if we could get the thing to run at all. Um, it'll either go that badly and you'll have a lot of fun, or you might even get it to work. Um, so, probably groups of six, so if you get together, two groups of three together. Um, if you get a solution right, you get two points, each everyone in the group. Uh, there is a folder called group uh, in the repository, so you try the exercises from that. Um, and we've got about 15 minutes for you to have a go. So, uh, go for it. group. So would you like to calculate a median? Uh, to the nth Fibonacci number or um, a slightly quite a lot easier, uh, reverse some words in a string. Uh, remember you can still do backspace so if the person before you does something utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Right. See if you see if you can do a median. If that's all right. I think you should shout out the letter into the microphone as you press it. <laughs> yes, I agree with that. Okay. <clears throat> so in this one, we're writing a function f, which, given a list of numbers, calculates the median value. If the list is empty, return none. As Thomas just suggested, this is power mode, which means you need to 
shout out the letter you're typing as aggressively as you can, and then move on. And we're just, I think we're just gonna rotate around the stage like a conga line, so. There's, there's just okay. about enough room that you can, you can sneak past back here if you want to. Uh, uh, no, let's just jump off the stage and go around, I think. Yeah. So we have our order sorted out. We get we don't get to communicate once we start. Okay. All right. So. So this is the order. This is the order. No backspace or one. No, you get you one backspace and then you've got to go off yeah. and the next person has to do. Yeah, one key press so you can do a backspace. Not that it's one one Four is fine. Just just do four. I mean, if, if there are people sitting here that are not joining in, then have them join in. No. D. We've started. Go. E. X. No, just kidding. F. <laughs> F. Open parentheses. N. Close parentheses. Let's go. <laughs> I just get the white space first. Yeah, we'll just, we'll take the time. The, the white space is okay? Yeah. Or? Yeah, we'll, we'll let the editor do okay completion because okay. we can see what we're doing with this one. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's the time to think. <laughs> <laughs> N. S. Um, I have honestly no idea. So, yeah, that's that's communicating. But yeah, I was thinking along those lines. Back to base. Open paren. Should I be after the? Uh, you can delete the first yeah. paren. Right. That one got added automatically, so there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I guess we. I'm a bit confused. Uh, close prone. New line. Uh. 
Backspace. Tab. I. F. Space. Um, um. Oh. T. Space. I feel like this is just getting more confusing every time. Um, well, space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do big space. <laughs> um. uh, come on. New line. Ah. E. D. U. <laughs> R. Oh, sorry. Yeah. N. S New line. <laughs> R. E. T. E. Backspace. Oh, backspace, good. <laughs> you. R. N. Mm, space. N. Space. Open square bracket. I have no idea what we're going to do with the square bracket. Um, Like space. <laughs> I think another uh, backspace. Uh, square bracket. L. Backspace. Backspace. <laughs> Just gonna say one character at a time. Um, period. You know what? Uh, sorry. I, I, I don't. Never mind. Just space. Um, back, back space. Is anyone not 
I wasn't confused unless you deleted my L, uh, L in brackets. Well, I gave a chance to others. Space. Uh, backspace. No, backspace. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to give you a hint here. Uh, we've got about five minutes left, um, so yeah, good luck. Um, I've been asked to give a hint to this team, which I, I guess I'll do. I'm feeling nice. Um, so. Uh, look at the second test case that's been requested by one of your team members. Well, so I'm meant to be looking at the second test case. I think we're clearly not because we've been I've been exactly here before. Pack space. And Pack space. I can I can turn off. Maybe you should be like one of the company. You are. So somebody can highlight shift the phone. Yeah. And then there's so Thomas, let's just do that and get it done. Yeah, okay, whatever happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the second test is... Okay, press something, because we need space. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, crap, how do you do this on a Mac? Uh-oh. That's... <laughs> I think we're going to... I think it's okay. Tab. Um. <laughs> That's true. New line. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of typing. You can do it this way. Well, can we establish the definition for So, the definition of this medium is, is the century value of the number of values or the mean of the value of the century value of the value of the value So, if there's an exact one, no Some definitions you take the lower one, some you take the higher one, and some you take the mean of the two, and we're taking the mean of the two in the middle if there's an even number of elements. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's what the test says. Okay. Uh, and we have very limited time. Yeah, I think we're just going to say L. E. Tab. <laughs> 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 N. Okay, what now? Uh, closing parentheses? Or? Yeah, uh, colon. Oh, sorry. It was a mistake. Uh, space. Um, percent. Oh, sorry. Percent. Yeah. 
equals equals zero. Colon. Enter. <laughs> R. One minute. <laughs> e. T. U. Tab. <laughs> N. <laughs> Scriber. L. Tab. Uh, and uh, bracket. Uh, slash. Oh, sorry, slash. 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 Two. Um. Yeah, like two characters. <laughs> okay. I guess, I'm not sure if this is going to override it, but I want to just close that. Yeah, okay. Close it in square bracket. All right, last character, then we're done. You want it? Sorry. Nope. <laughs> <Find out. laughs> I, can, I can run it and see how much you actually got, if you want. Yeah. Yeah, we got stuck in the... Two out of six passed. So, you know. Cool. All right, um, I'm afraid that is uh, all we have time for. Um, so if we can just sum up at the end and try and figure out who won. Um, all right, cool. Thanks. Uh, so if I could just have all your attention for a minute, um, you can carry on playing afterwards if that's what you want. Um, if we could just have quiet for a second. Um, so, uh, thank you all for playing, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for Cambridge Medical Robotics for allowing me to be at the conference this week and run the session. Um, so we are hiring, um, so if working surgical robots sounds cool, uh, then please check out the website uh, or come talk to me afterwards. Um, so, scores. Uh, I hope you all made a mental note of your scores. Uh, we're going for a simple one. Uh, the winner gets this exciting Python Easter sticker I picked up at the O'Reilly desk yesterday, which I've written, you're a Python, Python B champion on. So it's it's an ultimate prize. Um, so if you, everyone puts their hands up, and then if you keep your hand up, if you got the score that I'm about to say or higher. So if you all lift your hands up. Okay, one, <laughs> excellent. Two, right, we have a joint winner, both on one. <laughs> I suggest you take half of the sticker each. A round of applause for our winners. <laughs> um, I will leave your sticker here, congratulations. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have fun. Um, you can play this anytime you like in a pub or, or in the hallways afterwards. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.